On a foggy Sunday morning, Mark Rogers had a simple message for the soldiers of Fort Hood. Colonel Frank Jackson's message was a little more complex. The importance of the sustaining presence of God to walk with someone through the valley of the shadow of darkness uh, during a time of, of suffering. At Jackson's church on the base, church members hugged and greeted each other with warmth and love, and of course, they prayed. This has truly been a horrific last few days, and every person has been touched in some way by this tragedy. Lord, we pause to intercede for those and bring before your throne families and friends who have lost loved ones. They prayed hard for the dead and also prayed for the man investigators say caused this all. We pray for Major Hassan, asking that you would do the work that only you can do in his life. There weren't the tears you might have expected. Instead, there were so, so many signs of hope, signs of life. Oh, so great, Jesus. Colonel Jackson hopes his church members can forget about asking why and instead focus on helping each other. And that's probably part of the frustrating thing about being human. We try and make why answers out of everything and it's pretty futile. So to me, the focus is how do we bring people together with the reality of what's going on and uh, how do we support and sustain and encourage them during this time. There were several other services on Fort Hood Sunday. Most of them were not full and counselors called in to help tell us they have not been extremely busy, meaning most people around here are handling this tragedy on their own or within their own family. Rich Matthews, The Associated Press, Fort Hood, Texas.